Welcome to Bringing Ourselves to Light. This recording is part of the Contemplative Builder audio series, and I am Chuck Dunning, an author, advocate, facilitator, trainer, and consultant in contemplative practice, mentoring, and leadership. This series and much of my other work is focused on the development of contemplative practice within the context of speculative masonry. Persons who are not speculative masons are welcome to make use of this series, but may find it referencing Masonic ritual experiences, symbols, and concepts without explanation. These recordings are provided to help listeners experience various contemplative methods and states of consciousness. It is hoped listeners eventually learn to practice those methods and enter those states without the assistance of recordings. Because this recording is designed to facilitate changes in consciousness, you should not listen to it while operating a motor vehicle or other machinery or performing any other task that requires your attention to maintain safety for yourself or others. This particular recording makes use of the first three verses from the book of Genesis. That passage is a significant part of every Freemason's initiatic experience. It speaks of the act of creation, and specifically of the creation of light. Light is the object of every Mason's quest, not merely the light we see with our eyes, but also the inner light of the mind, of reason, imagination, knowledge, and wisdom, and the even higher light of the spirit, of intuition, inspiration, and creativity. Ultimately, it is the essential light of truth, of love, and of life itself. To bring ourselves to light is to seek to know our oneness with it. Now, if you have not already done so, Take a moment to turn off any phones or other things that might disturb your meditation. While you do so, consider that the possibility for external distractions almost always remains a part of meditative practice. Try to cultivate an attitude that distractions are simply opportunities to gently and calmly refocus on the meditation, which is good meditative practice in itself. Now, settle into a comfortable position that you can maintain without moving until the contemplative activity has finished. Your spine should be relatively straight, with no twist or strain in your neck or back. Close your eyes and, if you wish, this would be a fitting moment to invoke spiritual assistance in whatever way is meaningful to you. Now slowly take in a deep breath, inhaling all the air you can without straining, and then hold it, hold it, hold it. Now release the breath, exhaling all the air you can without straining, and then pause, pause, pause. Slowly take in a second deep breath, inhaling all the air you can without straining, and then hold it, hold it, Hold it. Now release the breath, exhaling all the air you can without straining, and then pause, pause, pause. Slowly take in a third deep breath, inhaling all the air you can without straining, and then hold it, hold it, hold it. Now release the breath, exhaling all the air you can without straining, and then pause, pause, pause. Now inhale and let your body breathe in its own peaceful, natural rhythm.
attend to the sensation of the Earth's gravity pulling down on your body. Feel it pulling your feet against the floor. Feel the gravity pulling down in your calves and shins. If you notice any unnecessary tension in those muscles, let it go. And let the pull of gravity take you into a deeper state of calm, peaceful relaxation. Feel the gravity pulling down in your thighs and buttocks, pulling you into your seat. If you notice any unnecessary tension in those muscles, let it go. And let the pull of gravity take you into a deeper state of calm, peaceful relaxation. Feel the gravity pulling down in your hips, belly, and lower back. If you notice any unnecessary tension in those muscles, let it go, leaving only what is necessary to keep you sitting in a healthy posture, and let the pull of gravity take you into a deeper state of calm, peaceful relaxation. Feel the gravity pulling down in your rib cage, chest, and upper back. If you notice any unnecessary tension in those muscles, let it go, leaving only what is necessary to keep you sitting in a healthy posture, and let the pull of gravity take you into a deeper state of calm, peaceful relaxation. Feel the gravity pulling down in your shoulders and neck. If you notice any unnecessary tension in those muscles, let it go, leaving only what is necessary to keep you sitting in a healthy posture, and let the pull of gravity take you into a deeper state of calm, peaceful relaxation. Feel the gravity pulling down in your upper arms, forearms, wrists, and hands. If you notice any unnecessary tension in those muscles, let it go, and let the pull of gravity take you into a deeper state of calm, peaceful relaxation. Feel the gravity pulling down in your jaw, your tongue, and around your mouth and in your cheeks. Feel the gravity pulling down around your eyes and in your brow. Feel the gravity pulling down in your scalp on the top of your head, around the sides and down the back. If you notice any unnecessary tension in those muscles, let it go leaving only what is necessary to keep you sitting in a healthy posture, and let the pull of gravity take you into a deeper state of calm, peaceful relaxation. Now feel the gravity pulling down from the top of your head all the way through every part of your body down to the soles of your feet. 
If you notice any unnecessary tension anywhere, let it go, leaving only what is necessary to keep you sitting in a healthy posture, and let the pull of gravity take you into a deeper state of calm, peaceful relaxation. Turn your attention back to your breath, flowing in and out in its own peaceful, natural rhythm. You simply observe it flowing in and out in its own peaceful, natural rhythm. Feel each breath taking you into a deeper state of calm, peaceful relaxation. You can go into an even deeper state of calm, peaceful relaxation by silently marking the breath with the word in as you inhale and out as you exhale. In, out. Just continue observing the breath flowing in and out in its own peaceful, natural rhythm as you continue silently repeating, in, out. Feel each breath taking you into a deeper state of calm, peaceful relaxation. Let go of marking the breath with the words in and out. Sit for a moment in deep stillness and silence and in the darkness of your closed eyes. Listen to these words from the book of Genesis. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. Now experience that primordial, dark, formless void as your own deep, stillness, silence, and darkness. Genesis continues with these words, And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters, Experience the waters as the deep stillness, silence, and darkness within you, and sense the movement of the invisible spirit upon you. Genesis continues, And God said, let there be light, and there was light. And so you experience the descent of a brilliant ray of pure white 
light shining down from the heavens into you. Like light penetrating into water, it enters the top of your head, beaming down into your heart and through your body into the earth below. Like light diffusing in water, it makes your whole body, inside and out, luminescent, glowing with its radiant energy. Try to feel the light's presence in your body in some way, perhaps as warmth, or a tingling, or a pressure change. For a while, just sit in meditation upon yourself as the light shining in the darkness. You are both. They are one in you. Now let go of the image of the light and return your awareness to the deep, dark, silent stillness so that once again you are just resting in the formless void. As you hear the words of Genesis again, simply allow the imagery and feelings to unfold smoothly within yourself. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. For a while now, just sit in contemplation of yourself as a light shining in the darkness. You are both they are one in you.
the highest sense. To bring ourselves to light is to experience our oneness with it. It is the essential light of truth, of love, and of life itself. Within us it becomes the light of the spirit, of intuition, inspiration, and creativity. It becomes the light of the mind, of reason, imagination, knowledge, and wisdom. Know that you can always bring yourself to the light by recalling this experience with the words of Genesis. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. Now let go of all the imagery, and once again simply attend to the sensations of your body. Feel the gravity pulling you down into your seat and your feet against the floor. Feel the air on your skin, the breath flowing in and out. Hear what you hear. Smell what you smell and taste what you taste. When you are ready, open your eyes and see what you see. The meditation has ended. Feel free to move and stretch your limbs. Having completed the activity, it is highly recommended that you take a few minutes to reflect on your experience, perhaps even writing down some notes for future reference. Observe your thoughts, emotions, and physical feelings, and how they might differ from before you began the activity. To what extent were you able to follow instructions with full awareness? What was easy about it? What was challenging? What was most meaningful and why? How might repeated use of this activity, with or without the recording, be helpful to you? What additional studies or research might be useful? Thank you for participating in Bringing Ourselves to Light. Once again, my name is Chuck Dunning. If you want to learn more about the Contemplative Builder audio series, my writings, or my presentations and workshops, then please visit chuckdunning.com. Until next time, I wish you more light.